Welcome back to the Crafts Lab. If you're new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by. I try to give out some bedding information, throwing information, general crafts play, do a lot of throwing on the table. I've started uh, recording at the casino on the bubble crafts, so if you like that stuff, click that like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Right now we're in the midst of a uh, bankroll builder challenge. I'm back to 296. We started with 300. We got down, we got up, we got down, we got back. Episode five, we're gonna start with $296. Let's get back to it. All right, here we go. $296 here. My analytics tell me that 82% of the people that watch my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? Then let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better craps player, then subscribe and click that bell so you get notifications when new content comes out. It's totally free. $10 table. Hope everybody's doing well. Here we go. 5153. Or 5135. For anybody interested in what we're throwing. Start off with a 12. Loser. Lucky enough to have a treat, so we're going to hear that in the background. That's exciting. All right, let's see here. A seven, frontline winner. Get that 12 bucks. Get that one lose. First lost back. Oh, Words, it's early. Seven after that. Just keep a mental note of that. Seven. Ten bucks for that eleven. So now I've got three oh six. I what I have in the rail is what I started the day with. And we're three throws in. Again I'm seven. I'm just trying to throw a nice consistent toss every time. I like a nice easy toss. I don't like banging it down there. Sevens like crazy. I would probably, I think I'm gonna, I've thrown two sevens already with this set this morning, so I am going to change it up once we get to a point. Eight, that's actually not horrible because that's exactly, look at that, look how I'm pulling that back. That's exactly how I set it up. That's beautiful. All right, so there's an eight. Throw these two right there to represent those sevens. There's the eight. Go forward so we know it counts. Let's give ourselves quarter odds. Let's go inside for 80. We'll throw in $20. Four in. And let's drop a $6 in hard ways, a dollar on the six and eight, and heavy on the four and ten. Two dollars each. There we go. Didn't change the grip. Let's see what happens. There's a hard ten. Hard ten is going to pay in. Well, let's see. 10 itself is going to pay 18. Hard 10 is going to pay 14. 15 for one. And I got enough to do a little pressure here. Let's go. There we go. 
two inside pressure. Nice. Lock that 10. Let's roll. Up to nine. If anybody's keeping track at home, I would like to keep track at home. So the shorty gets us a four. Our four is down. We can get paid eighteen dollars for that four. And it gives me a little more inside pressure, I guess. Two bucks, I'll put it back on a hard four. The mark four. And we're rolling. That is 150, 175, 180, $182 that we're pulling back. That is going to be a big help to build a bank. And we are, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six throws in. Six is going to pay us fourteen dollars. We will collect, but we will put the six and eight. We're going to put those back up for two each. So the six comes back for two, and I press the eight. A pocket eleven dollars. Six is going to pay us eighteen dollars. We'll take twenty for two. There we go. And we should probably do a little pressure. There we go. Collect seventeen or sixteen. Excuse me. Ooh, I never marked that hard six. That's two sixes. There we go. Back to back sixes. Pretty good up there from an all call small perspective. Five. No nope, field five. Five is going to pay us $21 with $15 on a five. Mark that five. <clears throat> Let's press a number here. Let's press smiles. Collect $16 again. to do for a three. That was a close one. Alright. 
<clears throat> Let me know in the comments who's going to Vegas, who's been to Vegas, or what your local casino is. What's your local casino? Shorty, sick. Woo. Serve both dice. Must hit the back wall. Thank you. Sorry about that. All right, hard six is down. Here's a six. A hard six, twenty-one dollars. And we're going to uh, press the inside and the odds. Using all of it this time. Let's go up to a quarter. Low and hard, three. Whew. Speed was different on that throw. I don't like that. For anybody new to the channel, I, I like to throw consistent. I like a nice consistent throw. Doesn't mean it always happens. Kind of like a golf swing or something, you know. Six. Usually roll a six. There's a six more. I got on there. I got 24. So I'm going to get paid 28. I'm going to take 30. For two, I'll take two right off the top of here. My hard six is down. I'm going to replace that. There we go. And let's put, since we put all our money back out there last time, let's put $22 in our pocket. We will take two bucks. Let's make it three each on the six and eight. There we go. As a bankroll builder, I just think to myself here, I did this uh, many times playing bubble craps here the last couple days. I build up my initial bet. I, I come out with my initial bet. I build it up. I bring it down. I build it back up. I don't bring it back down again, and I lose a lot of money. So if I bring this back down to 32, what have I got out there? I've got 20, 40. I've got seventy dollars out there. If I if I pull down to thirty two, I save thirty eight dollars, right? If I hit one six, I'm at th I make thirty five bucks. So the amount that I save versus what I'd lose, right? So let's say I pull down. Go back to 32 across, 32 inside, and I throw a seven. I save $38. If I don't pull down and I hit one number, I'm looking at 28 or 35 bucks. If I seven out after that, I'm losing my 70 bucks plus this right here. So, hmm. Any one throw, right? Just, yeah, th th things to think about, I guess. I mean, I've, I've already paid for my pass line. I've already paid for my place bets, my odds, right? I'm, I'm letting it ride. There's a six. There's a $35 win. I lose three bucks. It's a boot point if I put it all in play. So I'll just put the nickel in the hard way and lock up the rest. I will take a nickel off the five and nine. And I'll take a quarter off of here. And I'll, I'll take 10 bucks off of here. So I save $20. So I collect 30 from the hit. Minus, I, I collect 35 minus the five. And then I took $20 off the table. So I put my bankroll. 50 bucks, right? I just put 50 bucks in my bank. So at this point, 
I'm I'm thinking I'm covered. And this is how you don't miss out on big rolls, but still participating. You may not make as much, right? All right, so that was two, was another six I missed. So there we go. We got thirty-five bucks. Bring this guy down. Part six is down. Thirty-five dollars. Pretty good roll as we just hit the tall. We need a two for the small. Boy, knowing that and knowing what happens when you get down to one number left, I am gonna uh, come down to 32. Boy, change my mind so quick. Done. I'm gonna come down to 10 odd. I quit putting another 45 hours in my. Bank rule. There we go. There we go. Let's see what we can do. Now we can build it up again. Part four. Oh, just turned it. Part four. We got nothing on the four, but we have a two dollar hard four. We're going to get paid $18. We're going to give them $2. We're going to give the dealer $2. Give us $20. Bucks, and we're going to say place the 4 and 10. Now I have 52 across. Beautiful. Sevens this roll. We did hit a tall, so that's nice. Okay. Let's count them up here. Yeah. One, two. Oh, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 throws. Couldn't hit another 8, which means we are probably going to, 22, there we go, means we are probably going to hop an 8 on the come out here. Fifty. 
$558. All right, we're getting in this video with uh, $558. A fantastic boost from 296. What's that? Uh, 558, it's gonna be $262 profit today. Uh, it goes to show that uh, there's two aspects to craps. One is the betting and one is the throwing. If you could shoot well, and it's all random as hell, right? If you could shoot well and long and consistent, then you are going to have a profitable session as long as you keep your bets under control. So, all right. Um, hit that like and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'd love to hear where you guys are playing and uh, help each other out. All right. Talk to you later. Best of luck to you at the tables.